So we have one more image here. This is a real estate shoot for a luxury home. Now, this was the hero shot or the hero composition angle for the um, property. So in real estate, especially luxury real estate, one of the things that our clients are looking for is that money shot, right? That money shot that represents the house that showcases and tells you in that one shot what this house is all about. And with this particular home, it was a challenge. Number one, if you see, this house is sitting on a hill. So I had to get a tripod here up high just to get this house composed correctly. I, I had my 24 foot tripod. I wasn't at 24 feet, but I was high enough so that I can actually get a decent representation of the uh, front of the house, the, the stairs coming down this house, and just to get elevation to just, you know, be at level with the house itself. Here's the front door right here. So had I been lower, there's no way I would have got this composition. With the regular tripod, ground level, you'll be looking up at the house. So let's look at some of the areas here that we want to address when we start lighting this thing. Number one, when I light uh, an exterior home, my goal is to represent the home like the sun, right? What is the sun? It's a big ball of light and all the light and shadow it emanates from that sun. So what essentially I want to do is take this house and make it into a big sun, right? And make all the light emanating from there so that the light shadow fall off that's coming from the sun is represented by the glow of the house. So even though we're manipulating the scene and yeah, we're adding fake lighting, but we can still try to make some believability by using that approach. So let's take a look and see what areas here I'd want to target. Number one, obviously the house itself, I want to make sure that's glowing. So I'll be lighting this whole front of the house Next, I'll make sure that all my directionality of the light is coming in this direction. On the grass, on the bushes, the trees, the sidewalk, everything is coming from this direction away from the house. That way, when we're looking at the house, we're being drawn into it rather than being, being stopped by it. And that's pretty much it. It's actually pretty simple. It's a little bit of lighting, though, that, that, that it took for this, which we'll see in uh, Photoshop. But let's take a look at the end result here. So if we see here, we have that beautiful glow on this house. The house is nice and bright. You know, this is our sun, like we were talking about, and everything else is being emanated from there, right? Here, 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 here. All this is been em emanating from the house itself. So it's just giving me some direction. Remember, we don't want any brightness in the foreground. We want it more towards the center to our subject. That way it's a nice uh, direction and flow and nothing's blocking our visual eye. So if you can see here, the grass, it's actually darker here on this bottom area and brighter towards the center of the house, which is what we want. That's the whole goal, to bring our eye up, up this pathway, up these stairs and into that front door. And look at the light shot out fall off off these uh, stairs. It's represented well, saying that the house is glowing and there should be shadow coming from the stairs because of the house, you know, that is glowing. Um, and that's it. You know, let's take a look real quick and see how we build this up into uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. All right, so here's our file and let's just start building this up little by little. So here's our base layer, right? This is our starting point where we're going with. Next, here I go, start lighting the front of this house. Here's that stairs coming up to the house. Here's a little bit of that left side area. More of the, the, the grass area and the bushes. Some more greenery there. Here's another staircase and shadow fall off there towards the right of the house. Some more towards the right of the house where the trees are at and the grass. Even this little area here where the uh, the driveway to the garage lit that up. Here's the left side of the house. Here's this little foreground area here in the center where the pathway is at. Here's a little bit of the center of the house. 
uh, the pathway leading up towards the, the, the house itself. Here's our, our uh, this is actually an ambient layer. So I just use that to brighten up the, uh, the trees and uh, get some uh, information in the sky. And then I just added a layer here for just some touches, touching up. Um, as you can see, there's a tarp down here. There's some, you know, dead grass area. So I just clean that up because obviously we don't want to be showing any of that. And then just a couple little tweaks here to get some more. If you notice, I just kind of, di I didn't like that this was glowing. So I just kind of threw a curve on there and darkened that up to give me a nice shadow coming from the direction of the house. And that's it. Save that. Bring it back into Lightroom, add a couple little tweaks. The only difference that we did was we just add a little bit of warmth so it wasn't so cool. Uh, drop the highlights, pop the shadows up a little bit, uh, added some blacks and clarity, and we're done. That's it. Deliverable photo for our client. They can throw it up on the MLS for everybody to see, um, put it on their magazines and whatnot, and be very happy with a seller that's going to hopefully buy this house. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think this house is sold as of right now. Um, for, the, for those of you who don't know, this was going to be our workshop house for the uh, big photography conference here at PMRE in Vegas this past couple weeks, but it got sold. So, oh well, but it's okay. We got another house that was really nice. And like I said, this isn't science, right? This is just my approach, my direction as to when I get into a scene, what I look for and how I shoot to edit for my, you know, composition in Photoshop and uh, just giving me a direction so that before I even take the flash shot and start shooting, I just in mentally have an idea of where I want the scene to go, where I want to light so I can have the layers to take it into Photoshop, build it up and finish this photo to hand off to my client. So guys, thank you for your time for watching this video. I hope you took away something from it and let me know, give me a thumbs up, shoot me a comment or send me a message. Give me your thoughts on what do you guys think? Do you like this kind of video? Do you like this content? Do you want to see more of it? Or is there anything more that you like me to add to it? Give me your feedback. I'm all about collaboration. But until then, keep on shooting, guys, and I'll see you all soon.